Pinnacle sophomore quarterback Wyatt Horton has never been afraid of competition. Always bet on yourself. Um, you know, never run away from everything. Always, you know, believe in yourself. Always, always work. Always grind. Um, you know, never say anything's impossible and just keep beating the odds. Wyatt wasn't expected to earn the starting QB spot for the Pioneers last season. He was the underdog who worked quietly for the opportunity and ultimately led Pinnacle to its first ever 6A state title game. We had no plans uh, early on for him to be the guy and that's shame on us, you know, but um, uh, kudos to him and his development and, and you know, not, not, you know, just being the competitor that he is and taking it in stride and saying, okay, they don't see it yet. I just keep working. The six foot, 180 pound QB posted 2,860 passing yards with 31 touchdowns in his sophomore campaign. He embodied the message that the Pinnacle coaching staff always tries to portray, to put in the work and be rewarded. Following a trip to the state title game, it would have seemed like an obvious choice. Wyatt Horton would be the starting quarterback in his junior season. But then January rolled around and the number one quarterback in the class of 2024, the number one prospect in the nation, Dylan Rayola, was transferring to Pinnacle. And once again, Wyatt set an example. Yeah, I mean, my first my first thought was compete. You know, I'm not I'm not one to ever lay down to anyone. Um, I've, I've been a competitor my whole life. And, you know, like I said, I got that underdog story. And, um, you know, so it was just a great opportunity for me. You know, kudos to him because the first thing is like, Coach, I want to compete. I said, I'm going to have to compete in college. And, and, I, and I expected that, to be honest. I, I, I didn't think I would hear anything else. And um, I basically ran through all the various scenarios of what could happen. But I've also assured Wyatt that, you know, we're going we're gonna to allow this to play out and allow it to be a competition. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep at night if, if it wasn't a competition. So what do these scenarios include? Well, in compliance with AIA transfer rules, Dylan may have to sit out the first five games, although there is an appeal process. Injuries are always a possibility. Maybe they share time. Maybe Wyatt tells yet another underdog story and earns the position again. But even in the scenario where Wyatt isn't the starting QB his junior season, he knows he'll still be improving. This was a great opportunity for me to grow. It's going to be the same thing at the college level. There's going to be a guy that's coming to take my spot and I'm going to have to compete. So I think that the fact that he's just here is, you know, making me better, pushing me, keeping me on my toes. And, you know, same with him. It's, you know, like I said, we have that mutual respect. So we're always giving pointers to each other, trying to get each other better because, you know, it's a brotherhood and the whole team, it's, you know, one big family. On the surface, Dylan and Wyatt may not seem the same. Dylan is roughly three inches taller and 40 pounds heavier than Wyatt. He's got offers from just about every program in the country and recently committed to play at Georgia. But Coach Zupke says that they're more alike than they are different. He says they both have superior mobility, incredible arm strength, and they each study hard for the job. But who will earn the job? You know, until you put pads on in the fall. Uh, I, I sell that to every kid in our program, and we're just not treating our quarterbacks any different. Like we can have, you can have a better summer throwing the ball in shorts, but until we have helmet and shoulder pads on, we really don't know. What we do know, there's a friendly battle taking place at Pinnacle High School right now. There's no winners or losers, but there is only one quarterback who will be taking the first snap of the 2023 season on August 25th. Until then, the competition continues. For Sports 360 AZ, I'm Claudia Collins.